Now, on to the important question. If the venom explanation is so strong, why did the bacteria myth stick around for decades? Well, for three reasons. First, there's the observational bias. The scientists saw buffalo dying days later and assumed cause and effect. Then there's the technology gap. Imaging venom glands required MRI scans that weren't widely used in reptile research until the 2000s. And finally, in my opinion, story power. Rotting flesh mouth just sounded cool. It spread in documentaries, school books, and pop culture because it was memorable, even if it was wrong. And years later, after discovering the venom, many people still think that it's bacteria doing the dirty deed. So the real question wasn't where the Komodo dragons are venomous. It's how such a slow animal, paired with such a weak bite, can dominate entire islands. And that leads us straight back to why they're nature's ultimate bad boy. Komodos aren't winning because they're powerful. They're winning because they've tossed out the rule book and turned weakness into strategy. They're proof you can be lazy, ugly, and still be top of the food chain. Hope for us all.